so in Flint, where the water has been proven over and over scientifically that it's poison, it's toxic, it's not getting better, we pay the highest rates in the nation for the lowest quality water. Um, we're at Mission of Hope, where their water was shut off, I think, for a $1,200 water bill. My water bills are currently 1049 as of today. Um, we don't want to pay it. We keep fighting to pay it. But um, What happens if you don't pay the water if you Historically in Flint, if you don't pay the water bill, they will um, shut you off after 90 days, cap your sewer, and then they can condemn your home. And if you don't have proper hygiene for your kids, then CPS gets called in. It's nice and wonderful. And then they could take your home. So people have lost their homes. So they cap your water. You don't have water coming in. Cap, you don't, have, you don't have poisonous water coming in. Yeah. And then they charge you for not having water coming into your... Oh, yeah. And then if you don't pay your water bill, they will put a, um, a tax lien on your property that includes your back water bill. And people, I think 16,000 people or more, so you lose have your, lost their homes. You, so you lose your... I don't know what the value your of homes are here. So let's not say you much have a, anymore. Well, let's say you have a home that's worth $80,000, but yeah. your tax lien is $1,000. You lose your $80,000 home to a $1,000 tax lien, and then plus your $1,000 water, water bill. bill which you don't have the $3,000 to pay the tax lien or the water bill. So now they have your house and your property for yep. $2,000. And your kids. Yeah, if you have no home, they literally they can take your kids. Now, they keep saying they put a pause on shutoff since we made it a huge national deal. No guarantee. And we're still getting water bills. So they put a pause on shutoff, so we still got a yeah, water saw, bill. So when that saw. pause is lifted, we're all going to owe all this money. So right. we're trying to get it wiped out, and so far, no help. You know, no help. And many of us are still buying our own bottled water because getting down to the fire stations is almost difficult, if not impossible. And uh, there are some places that there aren't fire stations or grocery stores, like the North End, close to where so, we're at now. So let me ask you, because we don't live here. So I, what, what's, the, what's the sort of the, how do you deal with it every day? How do you deal with not ha I mean, you don't have drinkable, tolerable water we at still, any, it's citywide, right? Citywide. It's citywide. Unfortunately, we still have to bathe in it, so you're still getting exposed. I have a doctor's appointment at 3.30 because I'm not getting any better. Um, I, when my family were dealing with seizures, anemia, bone loss, bone breakage, uh, diverticulosis, liver failure, and that's just me, um, and um, as well as um, breathing issues because you're breathing in the steam from the chemicals. So what you try to do is you try to limit your kid's exposure. You plan your meals. You're adapting to... Yes, you plan your meals around how much bottled water you have. Um, if you don't have enough bottled water, you don't get to make soup or you can't rinse your meat and your vegetables because right. you're not going to use that tap water. Um, the filters they give out don't fit my sink because I have a pull-out sprayer. Also, we just found out that in a lot of homes, it's not enough anyways. The filters aren't filtering out the high levels of lead. So we just found out people who thought they were safe are not, that the little plastic filters, surprise may uh, not be working. Uh, is anybody giving you like testers? Are you able to test the water? Like we have the, we have the, um, right now the EPA is in for, um, previously we were having to go to the city and state to test and then we had found out through research and Freedom of Information Act from Kurt Goyette from the ACLU that they were falsifying their tests. Sure, I mean, why? So, yeah, so we have <laughs> nobody to, our trust is gone. We trust no one. So if somebody comes back and says your water's safe, there's just no way we can believe it. And in my house, we have a copper service line so our tub water turns blue every morning and that's completely unsafe. It's a neurotoxin. Lead, it, so Solder and welds hold our plumbing together. So every time I see blue water, I know that there's lead in there. Lead has no color. We also have aluminum, tin, and chromium in our water, which are all neurotoxins. Let me ask you a crazy question. Crazy question. Because, like I said, we're not here. What will it take to fix the problem? Because you're here. You're ground. This is ground zero for you. You're living it every day. Yes. What will it take? If, if money were no object, what would it take to fix the problem? Because we don't know. Because we don't Replacing live here. the pipes. The pipes were damaged by the caustic, untreated Flint River water. And so that's the only thing that's going to fix this is replacing the torn up pipes. So they're just going to keep leaching the heavy metals into the water. And we're going to have to keep depending on people like you to, to come from DC yeah, and all to across come from the country, DC and all across the country to help 